First responders were called to a mock crash involving a school bus filled with children that hit a tra train tanker tanker car today. Students acted out the scenario as a training exercise for multiple across area agencies. News 8's Mel Meyer joins us now to explain what the various departments hope to learn from the drill. Lisa, the drill brought together Mayo Clinic Health System, Gunderson Health System, the La Crosse Police and Fire Departments, among many others. These agencies say it's important to train for this type of event and they'll hope they never actually have to respond to anything like this. And while this is just a simulation, the video might be upsetting for some viewers. Students are on the school bus when the driver suddenly has a heart attack while approaching a railroad crossing causing the bus to crash into a tanker car. This is a very realistic uh, scenario that could happen here in our community with all the railroad crossings, with all the, the school buses. The scene unfolds at the fire department training site on Isle La Plume. First responders run through the scenario exactly how they think they should if this were a real mass casualty event. All of our folks in this particular situation were actually extricating and moving patients to the casualty collection points. While all the focus is on those in the crash, They'll also have to work with others who come to the scene, the parents. Not only was she playing a parent, Carly Beisman actually has six-month-old twins. It felt very real that it could eventually be one of my children. Um, so I got really emotional with one of the police officers. She pretended to rush to the scene like some other parents, even though that's exactly what you shouldn't do. Don't come to the scene. Um, because they don't let you know anything and you don't get to see your child. But the school district knows this is a very real possibility. They could be beating us here. Uh, that gives us a chance to think about where a reunification would be, how that would look. It's these takeaways from this mock large-scale incident they're hoping for. And all agencies will be discussing with personnel in the days and weeks ahead. So if this were a real scenario, the La Crosse Area School District would have families reunify with their students at the Hogan Administration Building. So what other types of scenarios have uh, these trainings, have they worked through? Um, yeah, so one of the more large-scale incidents that they're usually working through would be the ALICE trainings mm -hmm. or the active shooter drills. And they do these fairly often. An officer usually will walk through a school pretending to be a shooter and have others try to disarm them while also assisting the other people in the school. All right. Thanks so much, Mel. Mm -hmm.